What's up guys? I wanted to do a video for you today. This is of a knife that I've already reviewed way back when I first started my channel. This knife actually is kind of what convinced me to sell my sleesh buoy, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, that's how good good it is. And um, ended up selling it for, I don't know why, but uh, usually the good ones end up coming back to your collection so that's what happened with this one I was able to buy it again um, this is the Spidey Chef the Spidey Chef um, in LC200N titanium frame lock made in Taiwan I will put all the stats up for you in case you don't already know but this is going to be a quick review because um, you know this has been around for a while and a much reviewed knife but um I don't know if you can tell, I'm going to put up a picture of, hold on, let me focus this, yeah. I'm going to put up a picture of what the blade looks like stock. And because if you can't tell, I've kind of started to mod this blade um, a little bit. And to take out, take out the upswept kind of on it. And you can kind of see where I have, I've been hand sanding, I don't have any power tools, I've been just hand sanding with like 80 grit sandpaper, and I'm kind of crowning the spine uh, in the process, which is, which is kind of nice, but um, I eventually, once I get some power tools, want to kind of make it more of a clip point, so you've probably seen uh, some people mod these knives with uh, taking some off the nose area there. Um, and that's kind of what I'm gonna do, but um, yeah, it's just a great knife. They with the CQI version. Uh, the first one I had was the Gen One version, I guess you could say, and silver hardware and a stainless uh, lock ball, bar insert. The CQI has the black hardware and ceramic ball D10. So um, great knife. Middle finger flick, thumb flick great performer like love the steel um, love the wire clip so just all around great knife um, but yeah that's all I got guys um, when I mod it some more I'll probably anno the handles too along with mod the uh, continue to chop the blade so I'll let you know how the finished product looks once I can get to a place where I can do that see you in the next one see ya